So what went wrong with the Matt Shoemaker signing? I know you're thinking, well, what's there even to analyze here? He was terrible. He was garbage. Everything went wrong. Well, (laughs) I want to talk about sort of philosophically how this was just wrong from the get-go. And, you know, this is news that came out earlier this week that Shoemaker talked to the Pioneer Press about how the Twins had him look at some of the numbers, and he thinks that kind of set him off on a wrong course. I want to talk about that and then how that relates to some news that just happened today. What's up? This is Tom Froming from TwinsDaily.com. Thank you for clicking on this video. Again, Shoemaker talked about how the Twins had him look at some of the data. They had him look at some of the baseball savant information on him, and they had some changes that they suggested and things that they tried to get him to do a little bit differently. What exactly? Well, Matt Lenz of Twins Daily, after that report, took a look at the numbers on baseball savant and kind of Uh, gave some suggestions as to what Shoemaker did differently in 2021 from what he did previously. So I want to point you to that article if you want to dig deeper into that. I can see where a guy like Matt Shoemaker has been a pretty good pitcher uh, up until this point, uh, hurt a lot, but when healthy, pretty effective. Uh, Would be, you know, in the mind of, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, he's a guy in his mid-30s. He's had a successful career you know, I'm, I'm not shocked that he's not digging into all of his advanced metrics and trying to figure out what everything that he throws does and how they can work off of each other. Um, he's got a game plan, and that's been his game plan. And, um, you know, not saying that he, I would expect to get those type of guys to be close-minded per se, um, which credit to Shoemaker, it did seem like he was willing to take some of that in and then take those suggestions and attempt to roll with them. My shock here is why the hell are the twins signing guys? If you're the data team, if you want to be the analytics team, okay, go get those guys that like doing that stuff, that speak the language, that are interested in digging into this stuff. This, If you're looking for an anti-analytics rant, you're not going to find it here. I'm sorry, you're not at the right place. There's plenty of other places you can go to find people pissed off about <laughs> analytics ruining baseball. Not going to do that here. My thing is, if that's going to be what you do, if that is your goal of signing a Matt Shoemaker, is to get him in and show him the numbers, try to improve him, you better make for damn well sure that the guy's on board with that before you bring him in and commit 11 starts to him. But in case you missed it, Shoemaker is gone. He was released, not necessarily because of those comments the Twins say. Uh, The Twins stuck to the, hey, we have guys we need to get opportunities in AAA. I think that's fair enough. Matt Shoemaker was, there was no point in having him around, really, for the Twins' perspective. He can go try to find new work elsewhere now. You'd figure lesson learned. You'd hope lesson learned, okay, right? As far as, you know, keeping a, they don't want to keep these guys who are not going to contribute going forward. Then what happens today? Again, this happened earlier this week. What happens today, though? Rob Refsnyder gets activated off the injured list, and Nick Gordon gets sent down to AAA. I'm not one of the people who is really banging the Nick Gordon drum. I think there is a a very low percentage chance he's any kind of a major contributor uh, in the future. You know, maybe a nice kind of up-and-down bench guy. I love that he's playing some center field. At the same time, there's a chance. There's a chance with Nick Gordon, okay, that he might be something. With Rob Refsnyder, no offense. Love the guy. Uh, he's, he's been really good with the Twins before getting injured. Uh, he's really shown well for himself. What are you doing with this guy, man? What are you doing with this guy? He, he, he's extremely stretched at center field, which is really if you were trying to find some kind of a pathway for Rob Refsnyder to have uh, a long-term future in this organization, kind of being Buxton Insurance next year as a guy who can play center. That's a role that, you know, the Twins need. You know, as much as we love Byron, he gets hurt a lot. Rob Refsnyder's not a center fielder. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like what he's done at the plate for the Twins, but this dude is 30 years old. What are you doing with this guy? <laughs> Again, I, f- I feel like I'm throwing tons of shade at Rob Refsnyder, and I don't feel good about that. This is a guy who I th- should be in the major leagues. He's a major leaguer. He just shouldn't be on a team that's going nowhere right now. Uh, Not saying that he's not a major leaguer. He's just not a guy who makes sense for what the Twins are doing. Again, you're getting rid of Matt Shoemaker to create opportunities at AAA. Why are you not applying that same philosophy here? don't understand. The Twins are going nowhere in 2021. Nowhere. 
why don't you take these last two months and invest as much time as you can into getting looks at guys like Nick Gordon? This is a perfect guy that you want to get looks at. Again, even though I don't think he, there's a great chance he's going to be a major contributor, this is your time to figure that out. <laughs> this is your time. Yes, if he goes down to AAA, he's going to be playing every day. That's going to be nice for him. But I don't know that you're going to really learn anything about more playing time for Nick Gordon in AAA, especially against what you might learn from playing him in the majors. So it was fun talking about the draft. It was fun talking about the trade deadline. It's been fun tracking these new prospects. But I just had to get on here and vent a little bit about the other stuff that's been pissing me off. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to vent. I feel I feel better. Do you, do you feel better now? I feel a little better. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. Consider subscribing for more Twins rants here on YouTube, and we'll talk again soon.